Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly for pricing at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Cosmograph Daytona Stainless Steel and Yellow Gold. This two-tone V-Series watch is reference 116523. It is 40 millimeters in diameter, 12 12.4 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 46.3 millimeters, and from end length to end length, the total distance across the wrist is 50.4 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We put this watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see the Daytona, it wears beautifully. It's smaller than the other 40 millimeter Rolex watches. As save the Yachtmaster, it looks and feels and fits similar to the Yachtmaster. You could wear this on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference, and I've seen it done. It's a unisex option. I know quite a few ladies who wear this as a power watch for him or for her. It's flat enough that it'll fit underneath a dress cuff, but it's shock resistant, automatic, well loomed, and 100 meters water resistant. So it's also a sports watch, make no mistake. And on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see just how much clearance I have on both sides. Taking a quick look at the bracelet, Rolex has its own foundry. It makes its own cases, clasps, and bracelets. It also smelts its own gold and makes its own steel. The steel is 904L. It's a highly anti corrosive steel. So whereas conventional 316 steel needs to be rinsed after exposure to sweat or salt water, uh, this does not. I still recommend washing your watch, but the extra degree of resilience, including against some industrial acids, is a feather in its cap. The Oyster bracelet is a classic in its own right. Three links tapered down from the conforming end profile links, polished centers, satin flanks, polished outer faces, and removable links fixed by screws. The timepiece includes a double locking single fold deployment clasp. You can see the first lock, there's a beacon to hook and a spring-loaded lift latch. That locks once. The clamshell locks the second time. Very secure. Polished flanks, polished straight through, satin shoulders, and there's a little kerf underneath the crown so you can dig your nail in and open the clamshell. Take a look inside the clasp. You have the easy link system. Snick, snap, in and out, no tools, five millimeters of incremental adjustment, the equivalent of adding or removing one sizable link. Let's see if we can show this. There you go. Inside the clasp, three divots with little tracks leading into the divots. You can use your strap tool to change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside the clasp. Now, rolling back over to the watch itself. It's a wonderfully elegant thing. This is not the super case. You can see there's a curvature from top to bottom when you look at the case from the flank, and then there's a wonderful curvature from blended lug tip to blended lug tip with both lugs tapered and polished on their tops as well as their side. A wonderful compound curved case that reminds me of the Datejusts, Datejates, and Yachtmasters, not so much the uh, Sea Dweller, the Sub, the Explorer II. This watch is wonderfully graceful. It's somewhere between a dress case and a sports case. We have screw down crown, we have screw down pushers. You know it's a trip lock crown in gold because it has three dots with the center dot largest. Now it is a 100 meter water resistant watch. We have a tachymeter scale outboard. This is the pre-2016 tachymeter design. You see the little dot indices next to the numbers. It can be used with the chronograph to gauge the speed of an object over, for example, a mile or a kilometer. The dial has wonderful silver satin grain, almost like sand sandpaper, a, a rustic, almost media blasted type of finish. You could see that the watch has a polished yellow gold chapter rings for each of the black sub registers, which include white numbers and red inner chapter rings. The dial also features lovely radially arrayed applique yellow gold Arabic numerals, yellow gold hands, yellow gold crown. The idea of all that gold inside is to resist oxidation and tarnish over time. And of course, the famous red Daytona wrapped around the counter down at six o'clock. Now the watch does include a couple of refinements. As you can see, it features a hacking or stop seconds function. We're going to screw the crown back in, pop out one of the chronograph pushers. We have a column wheel for crisp actuation and if you look carefully a vertical clutch so there's no play in the chronograph seconds and it jumps forward without any stagger so when it starts it commences movement it doesn't fly forward one two seconds like you would find on a lateral clutch also because there's no additional wear and tear with a vertical clutch you can just leave your chronograph running if you so prefer the watch is well loomed and distinctively loomed. And underneath the case back, which is solid, it's an Oyster case, we have Rolex manufactured caliber 4130, bi-directional automatic winding with a 72 hour power reserve. It was the first Rolex automatic movement with a bearing. So before that they used 
smooth and silent but vulnerable and somewhat shock susceptible jeweled staff. Starting with the 4130 back in 2000, they started using rotor bearings, ball bearings that are better braced against shock. Now the movement beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, pivots on 44 joules. It's a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. It's made more shock resistant thanks to a full balance bridge and a free sprung index. That also allows the watch to be quite precisely regulated. It has a handmade overcoil with a Breguet style profile that allows the watch to keep even time via concentric hairspring breathing in any physical position with respect to gravity and there is a parachrom alloy that composes the hairspring and it's a niobium zirconium combination that is highly anti-magnetic so this watch water resistant shock resistant and anti-magnetic has it all reach out to t at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details